Hi all our friends, it's Miss Amber. I'm at my home. This is my living room. Well, part of my living room. I hope you guys are doing well. I miss you very much. I wanted to do another circle with you since yesterday's circle was so fun. Um, I wanted to do the sharing circle because it's Wednesday and it's usually sharing day. Um, we can do some uh, sharing sounds with objects from my home and then you can play at your home too. And I also have the What's Missing game and a short story to read to you. So hopefully you guys enjoy it and have fun. Okay, so today's sharing sound is shh, and this is how it's written. So this sound by itself is shh, and this sound by itself is shh. But when you put the two letters together, it makes a new sound, which is shh. And let me show you how to write it. Okay, so you take your two fingers, and you're going to start with the Now let's play the I Spy game. <clears throat> okay. Can you put the letter here? And I have a few objects in this gravy boat bowl from my home. So let's see what we have. Shapes. Shapes begin with sh, sh, sh. People call these sunglasses, but some people call them shapes. So we're going to say they're shapes today. Sh, shapes. We also have shampoo. Shampoo begins with sh, sh, sh. Shoe. Shoe begins with sh, sh. Shirt. Shirt begins with sh, sh, sh. My fair lady. And my last object is something we learned about yesterday, the national plant of Ireland, which is a shamrock. Shamrock begins with sh, sh, sh. My fair lady. Okay, so I have my objects. I have a shades, shampoo, Shoe, shirt, shamrock. And now I'm going to take my scarf from my closet. You can use a scarf or a blanket or a napkin or a towel. And you can play at home with objects from your home. Are you ready? <clears throat> What's missing from my life? Hmm. Do you know? The shades. Shades begin with sh, sh, sh. My fair lady. What's missing? The shamrock. Shamrock begins with sh. It's the shampoo. Shampoo begins with sh, sh, sh. Ready? Oops. What's missing? Where am I? I have the shade, shampoo, shirt, shampoo. What's missing? The shoe. Okay, last time. Ready? The shirt. Awesome game. 
Good guesses. So let's put all these objects back in the bowl. And you guys can play this kind of game at home with your families. Show them what we do with all our friends. And now, since our What's Missing game is over, I was going to read a story. And this story has a lot of shh sounds in them. So let's see if you guys can recognize all the sounds that begin with shh. And all the words that begin with shh. Shy Little Kitten. The Shy Little Kitten by Kathleen Schur. The Shy Little Kitten. Way up in the hayloft of an old red barn lived a mother cat and her new baby kittens. There were five bold and frisky little roly-poly black and white kittens and one little striped kitten who was very, very shy. One day, the five bold little roly-poly black and white kittens and the one little roly-poly striped kitten, who was very, very shy, all sat down and washed their faces and paws with busy little red tongues. They smoothed down their soft baby fur and stroked their whiskers and followed their mother down the ladder from the hayloft. Jump, jump, jump. Then off they marched straight out of the cool, dark barn into the warm sunshine. How soft the grass felt under their paws. The five bold and frisky little kittens rolled over in the grass and kicked up their heels with joy. But the shy little striped kitten just stood off by himself at the very end of the line. That was how she happened upon the earth and she saw it pushed up in a little mound right in front of her. Then pop, up came a pointed little nose. The nose belonged to a chubby mole. Good morning, said the mole, as friendly as you please. Won't you come for a walk with me? Oh, said the shy little kitten. She looked shyly over her shoulder, but the mother cat and her five bold and frisky kittens had disappeared from sight. So the shy little kitten went walking with the chubby mole. Soon they met a speckled frog sitting near the pond. My, what big eyes he has, whispered the shy little kitten. But the frog had sharp ears too, and he chuckled. My mouth is much bigger. Look, and the frog opened his great cave of a mouth. And the mole and the kitten laughed and laughed until their sides ached. When the kitten stopped laughing and looked around, the frog had vanished. On the pond, ripples spread out in the great silver circles. I really should be getting back to my mother and the others, said the shy little kitten, but I don't know where to find them. I'll show you, said the strange voice, and out of the bushes bounded a shaggy black puppy. Oh, thank you, said the shy little kitten. Goodbye, mole. So off they went together, the shy kitten and the shaggy puppy dog. The little kitten, of course, kept her eyes shyly on the ground. But the shaggy puppy stopped to bark, woof, woof, at the red squirrel on a tree. He was full of mischief. Chee, 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 the squirrel chattered back, and she dropped a hickory nut right on the puppy's nose. She was very brave. Wow, 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 barked the mischievous puppy, and off they went toward the farm. Soon they came bounding out of the woods, and there before them stretched the farmyard. Here we are, said the shaggy puppy dog. So down the hillside they raced, across the bridge above the brook, and straight onto the farmyard. In the middle of the farmyard was the mother cat with her five bold and frisky little black and white kittens. And in a flash, the mother cat was beside her shy kitten licking her all over with a warm red tongue. Where have you been? she cried. 
We're all ready to start a picnic. The picnic was for all the farmyard animals. There were seeds for the chickens and water bugs for the ducks and carrots and cabbage for the rabbits. And there was flies for the frog and there was a trough of mash for the pig. Yum, 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 how good it all was. After they had finished eating, everyone was just beginning to feel comfortable and drowsy when suddenly the frog jumped straight into the air, eyes almost popping out of his head. Help, run, he cried. The frog made a leap for the brook. Everyone scrambled after him and tumbled into the water. What is it? asked the shy little kitten. A bee, groaned the frog. A, a bee bit me. And then they saw that one side of his mouth was puffed up like a green balloon. Everybody laughed. They couldn't help it. Even the frog laughed. They all looked so funny as they climbed out of the brook. <clears throat> the shy little kitten stood off to one side. She felt so good that she turned a backyard somersault right there in the long meadow grass. This is the best day ever, she said. The end. Thank you friends for sharing your circle with me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope that you play the game at home with your parents and I hope to see you soon. Bye.